Okay, uh, hello YouTube. Uh, it's your, your favorite YouTuber here. Not very favorite, I only have 11 subscribers. Please make the channel grow. <laughs> Please, I want to be monetized. I want to be a real YouTuber. Only money. And influence. I always wanted that. Can you make my dreams come true here on the, uh, the viewers of these videos here? Uh, yeah, from a YouTuber who ends up, uh, making a YouTube video, uh, that, that forgot that, <laughs> that they, uh, didn't turn on the microphone. But this time I did because I realized I had to redo the whole thing. Oh boy! The joys of beginning this. Yay! <laughs> Yay. But here I am to review for you guys. The, uh, film. Bunkle of the Dead, a 2015 dumpster file of a B-rated film that maybe more should be a C-rated film. I already know, based on what this video is about, uh, Shannon Wazuski might not like me for some time. But hey, if I can actually put the sympathy comment. The sympathy key. The persuasion. That I am an ass beat. With autism. Don't shoot me. <laughs> Don't take that my channel, please. Just for this one mention. In this video. That I will be uploading to my, uh, either both my YouTube channels. Hitler Obsessed. Or Lisa Stayed. Or maybe I'll just upload this to Hitler Obsessed. But I think both will probably be good. Wider audience here. Yeah. Wider audience on, uh, especially on Lisa Stayed than Hitler Obsessed. But the film is really just uh, a terrible film. You got every stereotype known to man. You got racial stereotypes. You got ineptness in the film. You got guys that are about as uh, stupid because uh, they're, they're as smart as a bottle of kombucha tea because they're fat boys. You got every conspiracy theory you could love about the Third Reich. Lost Nazi gold. Hitler escaped. Secret bunkers. All the great things for making a good film. It ends up becoming a B-rated film. Five should be more of a Z-rated. Uh, to Q, you know, Q ratio, for your math majors out there, <laughs> I know, I'm not a math major, I am a history major, I am a history buff, what am I talking about, Cube? Yeah, I'm about to also graduate too with my associate's degree, so, uh, I oh, know, give me some comments, congratulate me, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell there. Uh, but yeah, the beginning of the story ends up with, uh, you know, a scene that's going to be shown later on that I will be discussing, uh, but I will show you a clip of it. You can watch it and see what's going to be happening. But then, the video. As you know from the first clip there, how good this is gonna be. We're going on this ride together. For going on this uh, hellish moment through hell and back. And for God help us. We're going on it together! Is that fun? <laughs> Com camaraderie. <laughs> Best to win it's miserable. It likes company. Don't it? Misery. Misery likes company. But yeah, so the next scene is of uh, these two guys. Uh, one's named Baba, who is a guest Indian bloody stereotype baba uh, for an Indian guy and his German fat boyfriend. I guess Baba's like a foreign exchange student visiting Germany and then the German fat boy is, uh, you know, the local, the native college student, you know. And most likely the guy showing up there because, you know, Germany has free to college and university. They don't go through student loan debt. 
I'm up on old sociology puzzle tell me us that. Uh, and I, I swear, the classroom went dead silent. Like, the crickets even went quiet. That's how much nobody liked this comment from the professor. Made in a college in America. We have a good feel on most of the students. Oh, and debt for taking out student loans. Yay. But yeah, the guy and his friend, uh, Bob, I don't know what the uh, German friend is, I swear. I mean, he's so dumb that I won't even acknowledge his name and a bloody stereotype uh, of a German. And I am actually called German. Can't invite this guy, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe a bit what the, what the social justice lawyers would say problematic. Maybe that's what they call it, problematic. Maybe just more a bit of no a bit of a inconvenience, but yeah, the guy and his friend are like getting suited up, helping uh you know doing the test runs of all this expensive so called high high state of the art filming, capturing, recording body suit camera footage, you know a camera suit that you know this guy's gonna wear. Uh, and you believe me when I show you the clips of how uh, up to date it's. Maybe they should have brought Adolf Hitler back. Because really in the film it's 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 about you know Nazi zombies. If you can tell on the foot the front foot uh the the movie poster what it is it's Nazi zombies. Two of the best things known to man to make a great. B-rated film. And who says that they they couldn't have the thirsty or so like they got a the, they got a long self life of uh, twelve years. Great expiration date. Self world hunger by twelve years. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but yeah, so the the characters are going uh you know, uh, but as you can tell in this this the. The background of this scene of the opening scene. I guess this is either the dorm room or maybe Barbara's room or the German frat boy. And, you know, it just looks like this stupid conspiracy, you know, theory. You know, got the beautiful mind, uh, I guess, you know, threadboard thingy in the background of one scene. You got the, the college post dorm posters there. And then you got the two fat boys. You know, uh, you know, they're just as, as stupid as they look. You know, this is gonna, you're gonna be in for a ride when you can see how, uh, the intelligence of this film is. Uh, and then one scene, yeah, the, uh, Barbara's sister turns up into the room. I guess she's also a fat boy. Uh, you know, maybe a sorority girl. <laughs> Not fat boy, sorority girl. Sorry for that, uh, muck up there. That uh, sorry for using uh, Australian lingo gets messed up. You know, fouled up there. Uh, but you have uh, yeah, and he's like you know, just went to be scratched a little bit, and he's checking out his uh, Baba's uh, you know, Yahoo's. Uh, you know, I can't say it here on YouTube. But this is what the German uh, fat boy is doing because obviously, stereotypical fat boy, go figure. And you wonder why I never, why some people in my family know that, yeah, I might not like those fat boys from uh, the Mason Race series. Wonder why, hmm. But yeah, so the next scene cuts off onto, you know, after, you know, Bob was, you know, decided to, you know, uh, <laughs> tell his friend, Hey, are you look, you're looking at my ghost, you know, you know what, for Yahoo's, for Yahoo's, you know, for boobs. And, uh, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, the drawing friends are like, you know, you want a copy of it? You know, you're dealing with a guy who's just gonna be very, 
genius, Mensa genius level. Maybe more like Apple genius ball level. Maybe. I, I don't even think those guys had an Apple genius ball. All Mensa geniuses. But yet again, you know, you have, uh, you know, then the scene can, uh, changes to another scene, which is, uh, you know, because this film has a found footage film that has a large plot holes. They're so large, I have to do a, a President Trump interpretation. They're so large, you could drive a pants or so, shoot off every gun and still not hit the ends of these plot holes. They're so large, they're big, have you seen the plot holes? Yeah, there's my, uh, my stereotypical Trump impersonation. But yeah, so you have the scene of uh, cutting off to, uh, I guess, the ton of that uh, U.S. military base. But as they're driving around to this base, it literally looks like scenes out of, I don't know, where I live. Well, some of my family members live close to, which is, uh, Grass Valley. <laughs> this is supposed to pass off as Germany, or Bavaria, or Volkischagani. Oh, I don't know, the Borghoff. You know, where Hitler lived, but it looks more like it's in Grass Valley, California, in the foothills around, you know, Alta Sierra. That's where it looks like it's at. And so as they're at the uh, military base, they come out with, you know, the best scene out there that you could have as a reason to get in to pass high maximum security. Which is so good. Such a great persuasive tactic that I swear. These guys make Adolf Hitler look better in charisma. And yes, he's a very good charismatic guy. Not a good guy. But, you know, at least he's better than the, uh, the story they come up with to get into the base to find this supposedly lost Nazi bomb hidden in the forest So what appears to be I'm trying to be Borghester Garden in Germany in the, in the province of Bavaria, but I look more like I'm in Grass Valley, California. Yeah. Which is the best quote as, uh, as this, so persuasive that you can see it here. And then you have, uh, which, uh, the, the guy has a pass, and it obviously looks so fake, it's unbelievable. The, the soldier, here's the gold there. Like, oh, cool, go ahead, like, take it. I mean, uh, you know, come right in, you know, uh, th this is totally legit. Mind blown. I mean, it doesn't look detailed. I got favor with the work for our government. The, I, I have a good friend. I don't even have to ask her to say, hey, does this look like, you know, something that looks reasonable, legit, maybe persuasive? I know the answer. No, nine. I... Take it away, Adolf Hitler from Roy's Bastard. But yet again, you, uh, so they're allowed in. I mean, they, they end up coming across, I guess, and forgot to bring up this, uh, this journal, I guess, somehow they come across, you know. I'm probably doing more justice by just bringing up this stupid thing, because most of plot holes are in there anyway, so I'm not quoting the story of it. I'm probably doing it more, more, more mercy, more kindness, and some compassion, loving, awesome, and I don't want to make anything suffer, do I? But yet again, you know, uh, 